Hello. Our lesson for today is about the parallel in serial out register or PISO. Here is our simulation design circuit for implementing the parallel to serial transfer of binary data. The circuit has four D flip flops with preset and clear inputs that are activated by logic zero. Parallel data inputs composed of four bits are loaded at these preset inputs via four AND gates that are simultaneously triggered by the clock one signal transition from zero to one. Individual data bits are decided by the positions of data switches SW1, SW2, SW3, and SW4. At the arrival of the clock one signal, all four data input bits are loaded to the Q outputs of our flip-flops. Thus, parallel loading has occurred after the first clock one signal triggering. The serial movement of data starts by applying the clock to the signal at the clock inputs of the four flip-flops. This occurs at the positive edge of the clock to signal that is from 0 to 1 transition. Notice that the D inputs of each flip-flop is connected to the Q output of the previous flip-flop except the first D flip-flop where its D input is held always at the zero logic level. During the arrival of the first clock to signal, data from the four flip-flops are shifted to the right one at a time. That means the output of the next flip-flop will be the output from the previous one. We need a total of four clock two pulses to ship all the data from our four flip-flops to our serial out point or receiver. The output of our four flip-flops are being monitored by the four LEDs D1, D2, D3, and D4. At this point, let us now simulate this operation by pressing this run the simulation button. Initialize the outputs by making sure all flip-flops are cleared. This can be done by switching SW0 to ground or down position and then switching it back to up position. Notice no LED is lighted at this time to indicate all four flip-flops are cleared. Let us set our data to, let us say, 1101. This can be accomplished by setting SW1 to up position, SW2 to up position, SW3 to down position, and SW4 to up position. To load the data to our D flip-flops, we will press our clock one switch once. You will notice that LED D1, D2, and D4 are lighted to indicate the logic level 1 status of flip-flops U10A, U10B, and U11B, while flip-flop U11A output is at logic level 0. Now, to move this data to the right one at a time, or in serial mode, we're going to apply clock 2 signal by pressing clock 2 switch repeatedly until all data are shifted to the right. That ends my presentation. Thank you very much.